Hi, this is Jeannie from Four Paws Acupuncture, and today we have another question and answer session. Feel free to leave any questions you have about your pets, holistic health care for pets, and that sort of thing in the comments, and I'd be happy to do a video about it. Thanks. Probably one of the most common questions I hear is, how do I know if my dog is in pain? Well, let's talk about that. Sometimes we just don't know if our pets are in pain. With dogs, they can be stoic, they can hide the pain, or if you have a rescue dog that you just adopted, you don't know its background history or its habits, so you may not be able to tell. Or your dog may be getting older, or you just have a feeling that something's not right, but you're not sure. Sometimes things happen to our dogs that we just don't know about. They might be outside playing or roughhousing, they might fall or injure themselves, and we just don't know because we didn't see it. So it could be an injury, there could be trauma that's causing pain, a broken or fractured bone, or a herniated disc. Other factors could be things like arthritis. Now I found in my acupuncture practice that most dogs that are getting older have some sort of arthritis. Just like people, as we get older, no matter how healthy we are, we all have a little bit of arthritis. Some of us have more than others, depending on our constitution and our weight and where we live and our lifestyle. So arthritis is a big factor in pain and it comes on gradually and it might be subtle. Also, cancer causes pain and sometimes that's very hard to detect in a dog and a human unless there's tests done. And of course, like I said, old age. There's always pain with old age. Other factors that cause pain are things like hip dysplasia, hip and back problems, elbow problems, shoulder problems, and knee problems. And as I mentioned earlier, certain breeds are stoic. They like to be brave, breeds like German Shepherds and sometimes Labs. And then there's the other breeds that always seem happy like Corgis and Golden Retrievers, the ones that always have the smile on their face. So you're really not sure, are they in pain or are they always just looking like they're smiling? And like I said, also, if you have a rescue dog, you may not know its patterns. You don't know its background history. You don't know its health history from before when you adopted it. So there could be an underlying issue that you never knew about that's now coming to light. Something that could be a disease or a hip dysplasia or something like that that's in the dog's hereditary background that you're just starting to notice. Here are some signs to look out for that may trigger you to think that your dog is in pain. Your dog may be starting to pant or cry a lot. Now there are the dogs that are always panting and crying all the time. You know, the needy dogs, the big baby dogs, we do love them. Those dogs, I'm not talking about those dogs. I'm talking about if your dog was never a dog that was panting or crying and just starts to doing it now. Also, maybe your dog's no longer playing like he used to. Does your dog find it hard to get back up after laying down? Is there stiffness in the legs or maybe the hind legs? Is your dog limping? It could be subtle. So watch your dog as they walk. It, it might be just a very slight limp. Is he bunny hopping? Does your dog have difficulty walking on hardwood floors? If he does, put down some throw rugs, please. And are the symptoms worse during cold weather, cold damp weather, or hot damp weather? A few other symptoms could be, is your dog no longer jumping? You know, when you come home and he jumps on you to say, hi, I'm here, I'm here, she's home, yay. Are they no longer doing that? Are they walking carefully up or down the stairs? Is your dog sleeping more? And is there lameness in the rear end? When you try to massage or pet your dog, does he nip at you? Is this a recent thing? Was it always like this? Or are there certain parts of the body he won't let you near, like the back or maybe his legs? Now the feet, most dogs don't like their feet touched, so that's a whole nother topic. But if you were once able to pet your dog's back 
or shoulders and now he's nipping at you, there's something wrong there. Has your dog become aggressive towards you or any of the family members or even other pets in the house? If this is a new occurrence, this could be a sign that he's in pain. Does your dog seem depressed or cranky all of a sudden? Or was your dog formerly a happy dog or pretty content dog? And now all of a sudden he's kind of mopey or growly or just like you can just tell by his face or his eyes that something's just not right. So if you're noticing any of these symptoms or you're just concerned, you just know something's not right with this dog, go see your veterinarian. Do that first. Okay, you want to rule out any major problems. You want to nip something in the bud if it's something that can be fixed in the beginning. So they're going to do a checkup. They're going to do any needed tests and x-rays and blood work to determine if there's a problem. Then you can decide how to proceed after talking with your vet. Now, once you know the diagnosis from the vet and how severe this problem is, then you can think about combining Western medicine. Do you want your dog to be on meds or do the Western approach? Do you want to combine it with holistic therapy such as acupuncture and acupressure, laser, herbs and homeopathic remedies, chiropractic and aqua therapy? So you can use the best of both worlds to help ease your dog's pain. Every day I light a candle for all my dog patients and all those humans and animals who are in pain, sending healing thoughts to all and light and love. Thank you. For more information on our holistic pet services, online classes, and books for people and pets, visit fourpawsacupuncture.com and also naturerealmportal.com. And our book, Barkopedia, the Canine Book of Knowledge, contains almost everything in the universe your dog wants you to know about holistic therapies, herbal remedies, lifestyles, nutrition, and even a tad of wooey wooey things. It's on Amazon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a possum day.